What's up everyone? So today I'm going to make a rather complex um, shape and then we're going to apply sections to it. In this case it's a uh, cone with another cone on top of it in inverted almost, almost like a mojito cup or something out of a party. Well here here's my previous model all complete with sections, planes, the actual cones and over here my my layers red for circle yellow for ellipse blue for hyperbole and green for for parable which are the sections in here okay so let me get rid of this so we can get started so uh, first off we need to make a cone so let's just make a cone with the cone command let's specify the center point by starting with a 0 comma 0 and then let's give it a um, radius of 10 meters and of course a height of 10 I'm actually on the wrong layer, let, let me just put this on the white layer activate the okay, white or zero layer and I'm just gonna put this into... no, extra is good, okay now we have a fully filled um, cone here now we need to uh, empty it and to create some kind of thickness so to do that let's just select our cone copy it I want it to have about a uh, five uh, hmm, like a half meter um, thickness yeah I think that's good so let, let's just push let, let's just copy and push our cone upwards and now before clicking anything else just make minus uh, 0 0.5 escape now we have two two cones one on, one on top of the of the other now in order to create the actual thickness we need to to apply a subtract command okay so first we so we select our top our top cone and then our lower cone wait actually uh, enter first and then and then we can select our lower cone yeah just like that okay now we have a cone with with thickness let me just activate the distance command to get an idea if my radius is correct yes precisely 9.5 meters good good now in order to make our inverted cone we need to set our UC axis Let's see, the very center, hmm, okay, maybe about here. Put the x axis on top, and then let's see, uh, this way. Okay, this looks, looks nice. Just like that, no coordinates were, were required to do this. Now, let's select our, um, our cone and let's make a mirror of it. We can select the cone tip for some reason but as you can see it will it will activate this small green square here which will be just about enough keep source objects and there you have it our mo our mojito glass is now ready good for a party hmm. now we need to make the uh, planes we want to use to section this these these two forms so, so let's start with a basic one. Um, let's make a rect for rectangle. Now we need to do to determine its first point. So we start with the x-axis. I'm going to give it a 10 meter, comma 10 meter for the y-axis, and then I'm gonna give it about a five five yes uh, about let's see comma five meter for the z-axis. Yeah, the point is in the right position. Now let's just push it away. And we want our opposite corner to be about, I'm going to say, uh, minus 10, comma, minus 10 for both the X and the Y axis. Oh, actually, I should have placed in 20 because we're, we're actually adding instead, instead of just pos positioning. Try that again. Re rectangle 10, comma 10, comma 5. 
And now to, re to reach the opposite position, we need to make minus 20, comma, minus 20. Yeah, looks good. If, we, if you want to have a more um, architectural view of this model of, or of any, any, any model, you can activate your viewports to, to get a, free, a 3D view, a top view, a left view, and a right view. To do that, just type in viewports, this, this is a small extra, which I believe most of you might like. Then select four, four to the left, or well, four to the right. I, I I rather use four to the left. And now just set this one to top. Just turn it here. Set this one to front, and set this one to let's see front uh, right. Okay. And now as you as you can see here, our plane is both in the front view and the actually in the front view, in the top view, and in the right view, and, and of course in the 3D view. M make sure your main screen is the one which is highlighted, so we can actually work with this one. There's the difference. Just, just double click the screen you want to work with. Now we need to make the rest of our rectangles so we can start making sections. So let's so select our UCS. Again, let's place it. Let, let's place it in the uh, where 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 we pushed it previously, like that, and then like that. So now we can just select this rect here. Let's make a copy of it, and then place it back on the same position. Select it again, or at least one of them, and now let's make a rotation. Let's give it about ten degrees. Perfect. Good. Good. Okay. Let's let's put let's put our UCS back on its world preset, and now we need to make a rather complicated um, forty-five degree re uh, rectangle. How to do this? Well, first off, we need to place our UCS back in its previous position, but instead of selecting our x-axis to the top. We need to select it so it will pass here in the, in the middle. But as you can see, I don't have any sort of point with, or helper point that can place me there. So I'm going to push it all the way here. And make sure you place it here and not here because your, your axis will not align with the, cent with the center point if you place it here. Remember, always on the, on the outside circumference uh, close up like that okay and now just point just get and now just point your y-axis in this direction and your grid is now set on a 45 degree angle good mm -hmm. the same thing here yeah oh actually <laughs> It actually stays the same in there. Only in here did it actually change. Now, how do how do we make this forty five degree plane? We're going to have to use the same method, but now we have to be really careful since since our grid is now forty five degrees. So let's see. We want to use this uh, plane for a parallel. So first off, with the x axis, we're going to start at zero, comma. And then let's start at, l at less 10 with the y-axis, comma. And now let's give it a, a z-value of minus 5. Looks good. OK. And now to determine the opposite corner, let's see. Uh, hmm. Let's give it about a. Uh, 20 for about 20 meters for the x-axis comma and now let's give it about 20 also 20 for the y-axis yeah looks good since, since it's at a 45 degree angle it doesn't have to cross both actually it just can't at this point it can't cross both Bo both cones only one only one of them 
Now all that is left to do is the is the hyperbole plane. So we can start making sections. How do we do this? Well, well, we have to set our UCS axis again on the vertical position, right there. X axis to the top and then Y axis to the left. Good. Let's try to, to place it about, let's see here, uh, about here. Uh, yeah, about here maybe. So to do this, let's start by making the last rectangle. And let's see, for the x-axis, we, we, we can start at 0. For the y-axis, we can start at minus 10. Oh, actually, no. Let's do that again. I was actually doing that, that one wrong. Let's start with a value for the x-axis at... Hmm. Wait a second. Oh, wait. Actually, I could have used 0 from the beginning. Okay, minus 10. And now... Uh, for the y axis, uh, actually for the z axis, we're going to need to make about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, let's see, uh, maybe minus twelve. So it'll be rather close to the uh, intersection point of both cones. Let's see if we're good. Yes, perfect, right position. Now let's now let's push it all the way to here and let's finish this with. Uh, let, let, let's see, um, hmm, 10, 20, let's make 20 for the x-axis, comma, and also 20 for the y-axis. Awesome, covered it perfectly, good. Let's put our UCS back. Okay, now let's start making, making sections. Mm -hmm. It's a tricky command, but I think you can get the hang of it quite fast. So make sec for set for section. Select in this case your 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 lower cone, and now we're going to use our plane as an or as an orientation device so we can make our section. So let's select this vertex here, this one here. And then on the other side, this one here. And there you have it, your first cir circular uh, section. Let's select it and place it on our circle layer. Yeah, now, now just highlights in, in red. Now let's make our ellipse section. And we will use this plane here. So the same thing as last time, S select your cone. And now let's just select this vertex here, this vertex here, and that vertex there. And, and as you can see, another section is born. Can't seem to... Oh, okay. And let's move it to our ellipse layer. Mm -hmm. Now let's go for the parable layer. I'm going to pre-select it to see if I can make my entire section already inside the layer. So let's make an, another selection. Once again, our lower cone. And one, two, and over there on the other side, three. Perfect. Already selected and are already inside the layer. And now last but not least, let's make our hyperbole layer. Hmm. Let's pre-select our layer, and the and and this time while clicking uh, select, let's select both cones, and then the process once again. Let's use this vertex here, this one here on the top, and this one here. Well, and as you can see, we have we we have all of our selections here and our sections here as well mm -hmm. well and that's pretty much it uh, I'll see you guys in the next two tutorial I hope this one helped on how to make a cone or basically two uh, two cones 
and then putting sections all over all over it.